Um, across the Bereavement um, Alliance, which is um, in the northwest of England, um, we have bereavement support groups. So we have one um, that we run in um, Tesco Superstore in the community hub rooms, um, which are um, a really non-conventional support group, I suppose, um, where bereaved families come together um, for a couple of hours once a month, led by a bereavement specialist nurse and hospital chaplain, and they come together for tea, coffee and fruits provided by Tesco's with the access to the internet, and they all sit together, um, families bereaved by sudden unexpected death, expected death, suicide, um, and it's lessons learned really, um, they're amazing. They knit for us blankets that we provide to babies who die suddenly, unexpectedly stillbirths. They knit toys because we give toys to families um, of grandparents who die, who leave grandchildren behind and they are brilliant. Um, but these are initiatives that our brief families have lead for us because they're telling us that's what they would have wanted. So they lead on this work and they do it together in our bereavement support groups because they are an incredible group of people. And the SWAN scheme and the bereavement support groups is led because it's their service. Everything that we've developed, we've developed because they're that, that's what they're telling us, that that's what they would have wanted. And I think that's key to the Alliance work. Um, it's about listening to families and trying to walk in their shoes and implementing what they tell us, what they would have wanted and how we can improve on their feedback. So from the bereavement support groups at Tesco's, um, our families who were bereaved by alcohol and drug misuse felt that although they were included in the support groups, they felt they couldn't open up as much so could we do something maybe a little bit bespoke and a bit different for them so um to start this month so i can't really feed back on how it's going we're starting a new in initiative for that um, group of families for drug and alcohol misuse deaths um with our local fire service who are providing our rooms um so maybe in six months eight months 12 months time i can sit and report back to you how that's going um because we're going to have monthly support groups for this family which start next week um which is fantastic because we've listened and not just listened but heard this group of families and are doing the bespoke monthly bereavement support group sessions for them because what I don't want to ever happen is for a group of people to feel isolated and different and that they can't open up because it has to be as it says on the tin support and how can it be support if people feel isolated and that they can't feel heard Oh, it's been great to watch evolve friendships, holidays, you know, fell walking groups um, and the connections that have grown and we've watched, you know, describing to somebody, you know, you're all feeling like snowdrops, but look at a snowdrop, you're going to break through that icy ground and you are going to blossom and things will change and it's not going to feel like it just yet, but things will tr change and then they come back in six months and they've been on holiday together and they've arranged a Christmas dinner and they've come back and yeah, they're still hurting, but, but it's changing because like-minded people are providing that support to each other they've got solutions to their issues of which they're helping each other with and we are just the catalyst and the crutch to provide that support and that's what's been really really brilliant about that and I think that's been key that it's off-site from the hospital where they have real difficulty in going back to and we have to acknowledge that so we have to look at how that can change um, and that's what's been great is engaging with the communities because it's a collaboration. This isn't about the SWAN scheme is going to fix it all because it's something that is run by the NHS. This is about us working with our girl guides, our schools with learning disabilities, our fire service, our Greater Manchester Police, our coroners, you know, our community groups. This is about a collaboration of work. And, you know, the Good Grief Trust is yet another collaboration. We can do this together.